This sucker has great balance on it. I love how it balances. Oh, what's going on guys? SGT Smallmouth here. A little bit of a different video today. We're gonna be showcasing some different baits, different lures, stuff that works really good for Possum Lake that we found out about, you know, the past uh, several occasions that we've come out here and fished and had some rather good luck. A few three pounders, some two and a half pounders, so on and et cetera, what have you. <laughs> okay guys, so we are dealing with currently at Possum Lake, these little guys. see them it's kind of hard to see them there's one uh, yeah these guys here are freshwater jellyfish not really showing up too good but yeah there's currently freshwater jellyfish in Possum Lake and that really sucks because apparently they feed off of microplankton uh, little tiny micro invertebrates, the smaller fish, they even eat fish eggs. They're about the size of a quarter. Um, they're pretty much all over Pennsylvania from the research that I've done and uh, the email that I got from one of the, I guess, Pennsylvania jellyfish you know, foundation thing or whatever. Uh, I sent in an email to them and let them know, hey guys, there's about like a thousand or so jellyfish out here at Possum Lake. And I asked them a few questions, how they affect the bass population, how they affect the fish, so on and so forth. And they replied very quickly and gave me the full scope and information. And so yeah, these guys suck. Bass don't like them. The fish eat them apparently, but they spit them right out. So that's, that's not helpful at all. They just uh, pretty much yeah, actually sting you. No, and they don't sting you. That's the other thing. Uh, so they're really harmless. I mean, they're not going to hurt anybody, but as far as affecting the fish goes, they're just, they're another invasive thing that's just going to harm your bass population. And it's not going to help your lake. And that's not good, especially for this lake, because it's still, you know, trying to get better from the drain that they had on it about five years back. But, you know, it's starting to get good. There are two and three pound bass, and hopefully we can catch them. So yeah, guys, today we're going to be fishing with the one and only... T. Hoffman, T. Hoff, bass surgeon, the man with the plan who can catch the bass and pull the lures out of the ones with deep in their mouths. And also, we have the CEO of Chubby's Lures with us today. He's going to be showing us a couple of his lures that he has, some jigs, some, some swim jigs, and hopefully you guys can see some good footage of that. We can catch some bass and show you guys what we're going for. Yeah, it feels pretty decent. All right, guys, first fish of the day. Yeah. Oh man, dude, their, their teeth got super, super sharp for some reason. Since the last time we were here, we were catching them. Like, I mean, it's not a huge bass, but it's a nice little guy. See you, little bud. Dude, he just cranked that thing. Okay guys, so our first demonstration of one of the many lures that these guys make. This one here is one of their swim jigs, June bug coloration, quarter ounce. This sucker is nice, well built, well designed, sweet. Look at those colors on there. Look at those colors. That is just beautiful purples and blacks, and a little bit of that uh, blue flake with the purple mixed into it uh, I don't know really what color that is but uh, yeah June bug oh, it up there we go dude there we go that's a good one. Oh, oh, nice dude that's a picture worthy fish that's definitely and I think I just missed one I almost doubled up there all right that's good signs I just caught one a couple seconds later Tristan caught one <laughs> Woo! 
Yeah, it is a good idea. Recy recycle all your old lures and plastics and then be able to melt them all down and then make your own lure lures and plastics. Make like crazy color combinations and such and what have you. Yeah. You'd have to figure out like some way of doing that or something. Yeah guys, right now I'm just using a simple Texas rig setup. Just, you know, your normal 4 aught wide gap worm hook with a yum dinger. It's like a tequila morning dawn color something. I don't know, but hey, this color works. Rain or shine, I've been catching bass on this color here. And Owen here, he's catching, what, you're using just the drop shot, drop right? Drop shot, yep. Yeah, he's drop shotting right now. Tristan, you got what, yours, Texas? Texas rig so yeah this is weird because the other day it was actually more so the drop shot that was catching more bass it seemed like rather than the Texas rig so I don't know maybe it's just a weather pattern thing or we'll figure that out though okay so I'm not having any more luck on this uh, yum dinger so I'm gonna switch it up here a little bit I got a pack like these the other day from Mystery Tackle Box. So I ordered some more because I just didn't like the color really. I get something a little bit more works for my kind of neighborhood, so to speak. So I picked up a couple other things, including a live target swim bait rainbow trout. I'm gonna toss that sucker at Long Pine one of these days whenever I get a chance to go back there. Yeah, these are these. I think he just had one. Uh, these are swarms, and it's got a big yellow eye on it. I got this thing, looks like a little baby bass color. So they're made by Yum also. And yeah, I'm gonna try these out real quick. See if I can't catch something else. After that, if I can't catch anything on here, I'll go ahead and toss on that swim jig hook a trailer on it, toss her out, and see what we can get. Ooh, all right. Look at that. Tasty. Yummy, 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 yummy. That has to catch a bass. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. I love that action. It is nice. Ooh, especially when you just... Oh, I have a good feeling about this one, guys. Cast that sucker out there. Dude, what if I got a fish on the first cast with this thing? Be cool. Hey, he hooked in. Oh, was that a crappie? No, 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 that's a bass. Both flip them. All right. All right. All right, everybody caught a fish so far. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I didn't get skunked. Nothing, though. Oh, my gosh. Getting skunk off. Well, I didn't. Was I recording? Hell yeah, I was. Thanks. First one, the drop shot. Juicy, succulent, lovely, lovely looking June bug. Oh man, the colors on that are just insane. I can definitely see a bass going after this, especially around here. They've been loving purple lately for some reason. So yeah, I'm going to hook this up, this swim bait, with a Kitek, uh, probably a red or a black, because of how dark the water is here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Tristan got one. You're just using the Ned rig. Yeah. 
That's the first bass I've seen pulled out of this pond. Second one on the drop shot. See. Sipping the whiskey. Yes, sir. Down the whole bar. Please like the gospel Michael Dimitri if you gon' get hostile 